we back. We back again. This your boy Frank Nitty with the Dope Vision Experience Podcast. I got my boy Wallace here. We doing this wrap up, this 2020 wrap up. You know, we coming live from you guys. We gonna we hit you with the top five um, albums of the year. But this time we're gonna come back with you. Gonna have the hottest uh, hottest artists of the the year. You know, saying these were gonna be these guys or these you know these girls who basically been kind of blazing it, even though we've been going through the pandemic. So we're gonna kick it off with Wallace. What you got for me, man? Hottest hottest artists. I got two hottest artists of the year. I'm gonna go like again. I'm gonna go back to my man Currency. Currency, man, he I feel like Currency been putting out an album at least every other month. Every other month, he hit you, hit us with a mixtape, hit us with an album. I mean, he be, he been putting them out. There's been no um, no uh, nobody been won. Like man, what Currency been at? He always been he always been just just like clockwork, consistently dropping, not just dropping albums, just dropping dropping good albums, dropping albums that you can if it's if it's an eight track album you, you, you listen to six of them yeah six of them is, is, is in rotation so i got currency as my uh my hottest artist of the year but like i said freddie gibbs freddie gibbs is 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 is, is right there how, how does all the guy alfredo man uh he he, he been killing it the alfredo been killing it every every feature he's been on he dropped one with uh with big sean um i forgot the name but that, but that one was hard um so those are my those are my artists of the year. Yeah, currency man. And, Gibbs. and definitely with currency, you know, Spitter Andretti, he's been dropping some some dope music, man. Like I said, every other month he's been dropping some projects. He kind of keep it consistent. That's the thing about your artists; you want them to be consistent. Some artists has the ability to like you know drop an album here, you know, come yeah. back like Kendrick. He can drop an album one year, maybe sit out for like two or three years, and kind of come back with another album. But you got a fan base. But you know, somebody with like Andretti, you know, saying he's more of an underground rapper, so he got to feed the streets. You got to yeah. keep that. He kind of like how your guy used to be. He kind of constantly dropping mixtape the mixtape by the mixtape and they keep you know what I'm saying relevant especially when you're not getting that, that, that mainstream you know notice, notice when people are putting you on the radios you don't have your videos play you know what I'm saying yep. but if you got an imprint and you constantly put on music and your and your fans are really you know die hard listening to you mm-hmm. whenever you drop something they're going to be on it so you so you never feel like you you know what I'm saying you move off or you go away and things like that so with that and then also with the Freddie Gibbs situation you know what I'm saying I like yeah. Freddie I just ain't haven't listened to him a lot you know so I listen to him here and there when he kind of drop on something yeah. but like I said if you know you know when it comes down to Freddie yeah, yeah, that man Freddie Gibbs, man. Like, like I said, a lot of people. I mean, he might just be coming to a lot of people's, uh, a lot of people's uh, site, but man, he, he's been steady putting out good projects. If you go back and listen to him, man, one of my favorite ones he did back in, uh, I want to say around 2014, maybe 15, he did a uh, track with a producer out here, uh, DJ Fresh. He did a uh, mixtape with DJ Fresh, man. The whole mixtape going, going, man. It's all about the bars, especially when the guy got the lyrics. Yeah. So you got your two. You wrapped up with with Freddie Gibbs. And, cur- and currency, Spitter Andretti, you know what I'm saying, that, that New Orleans boy, right. you know what I'm saying, he got them drop, got them <laughs> yeah. dunks for you, you know what I'm saying, yeah. got them cars for show. Man. So I'm going to drop you guys my hardest artist, artist of the year. You know, I'm going to kick it off with this first one. You know what I mean? Straight from the South. Again, you know, I got my South. I got to represent for the South. I got my guy, you know what I'm saying, he's been putting in that work. <laughs> money bag, yo, you know what I'm saying? Money bag. Hey, money bag, hey, money bag been, you know what I'm saying, been going hard, you yeah. know. And it's not nowadays. It's not also, you know, not necessarily about all your music. Yes, your music has to be good, but you also have to have, you know, what I'm saying a face in the social media world. And I think he does a great job when it comes down to social media. You know, what I'm saying he has a good presence on social media. You know, what I'm saying kind of constantly yeah. pushes music. You know, he's signing your Gotti. You know what I mean? And I kind of felt like I didn't know if your Gotti was at that stage where he was ready to kind of coach somebody and sign somebody on. But he took yeah. he took him on his wing. And that boy take off. He's on. He took off, man. You yeah. know what I mean? He, he dropped some. You know, what I'm saying yeah, two heartless. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You no know, mixtape. No mixtapes were just classic. He got. Yeah. He made some classic mixtapes yeah. to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what kind of got me. You know, really locked in when it came to you know money bag. And then after that, he just kind of like just took off, bro. He been yeah. he been dropping yeah. some music. You know, been collabing with a lot of different people. Yeah. I like to yeah. hear when him and Baby get together. I like when him and Lil Baby get together. They make some good music. Him and uh him and some, anybody else from the north. You know what I mean? They they get together, make some music. especially with him. And, him and uh, your guy, that they get on the track together, they can oh, yeah. ride real good together. And he can kind of blend with the north, south, and west. You know what I'm saying? He can move around in different pockets oh, yeah. and get it in yeah. with people. Even he messed with some of the guys from Dallas and stuff like that. So he can yeah. get some work. He can get that work in. He can put some bars on, listen out some bars yeah. and get it hot for you. Yeah, Money Back, man. Money Back, he, he, he's cold too. Money Back, cold. Like you said, those mixtapes, man. He didn't just lean on, like, okay, I'm signing to Yo Gotti that, you know, I'm I'm, I'm going to wait. Nah, he went out there, like you said, the mixtapes he dropped. The mixtapes he dropped was, was was tough. Yeah, it was tough, man. Yeah. And then he he followed that up with his album. You know what I mean? And, and he got a he got a couple mainstream guys on there with uh, uh, J Cole. Yep. You know, got him on the on the album and you know kind of 
But yeah, man, money back, money back is one of those guys. He's yeah, those guys and I think nice. you know, what I'm saying he, it just don't, it's just up for him on the next on the next couple of years, man. Yeah. He just gonna be in the up and up, man. You know, him and Black Youngster they kind of signed a CMG. Yeah. And the boys kind of get together, they drop the project, and I was kind of you know highly surprised that it, it sounded good. You know what I mean? Even though kind of Black Youngster kind of be you know. He be on, you know, he be on what he on, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He a wild boy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He a wild boy, the crew, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Them boy got the gun locked in and put a project out. Next one, I'm going to come back with another one, you know what I'm saying? Lil Baby, I just think Lil Baby, was just really, he been having a year, man. I think yeah. he's just been having a, a magical year, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He said he went up on his features, and then he also talking about how he been went up on his, you know what I'm saying, his concerts and stuff like that when he been charging. And I just feel like he just been like on everybody work and he been putting in that work, man. I think that's what it is for artists. When you first come out, man, mm -hmm. you kind of establish your sound, get your voice, and then you just kind of like blaze through the summer just dropping track up you just every time you turn something on mm -hmm. and you hear his voice yeah. you just feel like that man yeah. he just he just blowing up you know yeah. what i'm saying he just taking off yeah and, yeah i just think when it came down to the black lives matter protest when it was baby just had a nice single you know what I'm saying he was out in the forefront you know we was asking for what a lot of rappers at and he kind of stepped up and put a record out there and it kind of made a lot it made a, a nice little noise yeah. and it kind of put us put us um, in a perspective that you know rappers have something to say too because we were wondering like you know where they at you know we kind of you know anytime something going on in the streets we kind of figure out the rappers what they're going to talk about even though we don't look for we don't look to them to kind of handle on our political you know right. front but right. we like to hear what they got to say and where they coming from and stuff like that so you know what I'm saying that was one of my you know cuz you know rap is the biggest genre in music right yeah, now yeah they, so. they you know what I'm saying we we run it hip hop culture run mainstream culture was pushing to the world culture you know what I'm exactly. saying so you know when we have our rappers step up and kind of say something even though we don't look you know we don't look to them to kind of handle our political right, front right. but we just like to hear what they got to say from time to time yeah cuz you know they they're part of the they're part of the fight too so everybody that they everybody in their own lane do what they do is just pushing towards a better uh Pushing towards the greater good, so yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he, did, he did his thing. He did his thing with that one. And then one of my, I got a little bonus one. I always kind of throw this bonus one in here. You know, this bonus one, I think you know it's gonna be Meg the Stallion. You know, she did a great job this year. You know, last year she was a breakthrough artist for Apple, and I think this year she kind of stepped up a little bit more. She had a situation where you know her, her toy went through, but that kind of more or less it kind of pushed her you know uh, to the forefront even more. Yeah. You know, she put out some good music. Not gonna deny she put out good music, and then she made that nice little record where she had kind of ending the year of when she made with Cardi B with that WAP kind of made a lot of noise for the for the ladies. Right. You know, you always gotta represent for you know you gotta have somebody to represent for the ladies. We can't yeah. leave them out. You know what I'm saying? They're a lot of the, they, they do a lot of the streaming of the music and paying for tickets and yeah, stuff like that yeah. too. So we can't leave them out when we're talking about hardest artists of the year. So we want want to feel like we biased. It's always talking about men. So I want to throw some ladies in there as well too. So right, right. With that, you know, we come we wrapped up with our you know our hardest artists. Like I said, it's our who we feel how we feel they the hardest artists. You know what I'm saying? You might have your hardest artists. You know what I'm saying? We like to hear your comments. You know, if your hardest yeah. artists ain't not hardest artists, you wrong. <laughs> That's how we kicking it. You know what I'm saying? It's 2020. It's how we doing. You know, we out here in this beautiful Bay area see we're doing something different we want to get out the box a little bit you know we've been stuffed in the house for the last rose, several months rose, next time we need we need a couple we need a hundred bottles rose, rose you know what i'm saying hit us with a hundred bottles you know what i'm saying man. so that's how we kicking it you know we got to set up we got we're doing some dope stuff for you so you know hang in there hang, kick it with us with some more we got some more topics coming up we appreciate you guys sticking with us come back for our next segment it's your boy frank nitty my boy wallace 